I mean, you know, I'm up at 5.30 and I'm working till like nine. So I only have about an hour amazing. for social media. First of all, it's amazing. Your work ethic is inspiring. So, you know, a couple things here. One, you can't beat yourself up. Obviously you're carrying so many jobs because they're all paying at a micro level. And so the combination of it allows you to kind of like pay your bills, right? So there's three core things here. One, not beating yourself up that you only have one hour when you're working so hard. And then yes, it will take longer, but you're fulfilling your responsibilities while building towards your future. So judgment of yourself. Two, are you overthinking your content on social so then it's slow, right? Like if you're over worried about production value or perfection, that could be another thing. Right. One of the well, one of the the one of my jobs is in mortgage lending, and with that, I have to be careful of what I post. Of course, a lot of people depend on making sure that I know my stuff, and with mortgage lending, it changes on the daily. It changes every day I wake up. It changes, so I have to be. So yeah, that does take a lot that of makes a sense. Bit of time. But I like assume your side, side thing, sure. but isn't your side thing around, what's your side thing, your social media side thing? Working out, um, basically. So that's what I'm, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, okay. you know, I'm talking about that hour. Okay. In that hour, when it's overwhelming, my question is, are you overthinking it, over perfectioning it? That's number two. And then number three for your situation is, you know, is there any way to lower your expenses so you don't have to cover four jobs to right. pay for your lifestyle. Like what's going on on the expense side with roof and transportation and food. Um, and then uh, the thing that I always get most excited about, which is, you know, what other things are being bought that are leading to a vicious mm -hmm. cycle. Cause you're in a hardcore cycle, right? 5.30, right. 9.30, you're, right. just, you're just working to sustain. I mean, you're just working. Well, it's nice because the three, well, the Three of them are part time, and I get to make my own hours. And once I get so, if I get a loan, it a lot of that depends on timing, and so I focus just on that, and I put the other two aside. So it's more of I work full time, um, you know, nope. seven to three, mm -hmm. and then from three to whenever I work, if I have a loan, I'm in there, and I try to get the loan out the door because yep. timing is everything to these realtors. Um, what would you like to happen, Jess? Um, like in the super macro. Are you trying to oh, have a life and well, uh, lifestyle, health and wellness platform if that's your full-time career or is it something else? Um, honestly, I'm still mm -hmm. trying to figure that out. That's why that's okay. I just started I, start, I just started listening to your content in August and I was like, okay, now I really have to start this. Started a couple of pages and then now I'm just kind of working, um, you know, getting them I mean, I'm not worried about followers and how much I have and things like that. I know it's like watering a plant. You just gotta wait till it grows. Um, but my but, problem but is- But we all, we all wanna see a little traction to give you a little optimism that you're fucking, that the water's hitting the fucking roots. Right, true. You know? Mm. I mean- Well, I guess my, yeah, my other issue is that within that hour, I have to do social media for not only the working out, but the mortgage as well. So that hour is for both. Yeah, I get it. I mean, hard. have you considered maybe cutting one of the the one of the um, other kind of part time jobs to give you back that two to four hours? I have, I really have. But sometimes when a loan comes in and I push everything aside, it's just all it is is just for that loan. Um, but that makes sense because that's where your economics are. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. but I mean, but sometimes the loan's not coming in, but you're still going to that part time. Which what's the shittiest of the part time jobs? What What do you mean? Which one do you like the least of the three? Oh, geez. Um, it's the part-time at a private school. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, uh, I, I would highly, highly debate cutting that one out to give you, yeah. how many hours a week are you putting into that? For that one, it's only three hours. It's not that much. I want, I want those three back. Because yeah. that three is gonna give you less tension on what you've started getting focused on since August and now you're down to four hours and you're gonna right. have to be able to get a lot more done. And that's four hours, but it's really six because the transportation, the time, the prep, you know, it's not just the three hours yeah. you're in that building. Yeah, and then I guess my other question is how do you not get lost in starting this, having so many avenues, having a job and then a hustle and then how do you, how do you not get lost in that? By, by realizing you're looking to be found, not that you're lost. Okay. It's perspective. Yeah, if, that's if true. You, you see where I'm going? If you looked yeah. at it as this is the process that I'm doing to get found versus am I lost in this? No different than when I, you know how much I hate exercising? I hate it more than the Patriots. 
Well, I'll tell you something. But real quick, let like me finish this get... thought and then okay, just jump sorry, in. But when I'm doing it, I'm like, this is me. I don't like this, but this is doing something good for me. And then it became something good in my mind. You just need to make that something good in your mind. That you're not getting lost. You're you're working through the process of being found. I love you talk one time about juggling, like if you got 17 balls in the air and you drop three, you still got 14. But if you got three and you drop three, you got nothing. Or if, um, you, or if you got one, but you're looking over in the corner and you're like, I like that ball better. That's what most people that are watching right now exactly. are doing. They're juggling one, they think they're on the focus. The problem is they don't like their ball. Exactly. And so like, I, I like, I love juggling. Like your so, structure. So, so do that. Yeah. Because you're asking me to not juggle. You're, no, no, you no, like, I you like. like I think no, the question's like, where to start? Where to start with what? Like finding the actual career. Like, and I know like career is like a different term than it was 20 years ago. Cause we're not like locked in. Like I'm a teacher, I'm a doctor, I'm a whatever. Um, so like, I think just having peace. Well, let's and, break like, it down. You know, flipping is, is a career and an entrepreneurship that you can just flip. We've made, I've made easily like my parents, myself, like I made two grand on Facebook in the last three weeks selling stuff. We've been going crazy, bro. Like I just, I moved out of my room cause the audio was messed up. My room is like, I just been going through it. What can I sell? Love it. Makes me happy. I love when people are like, listening and executing. It's real, right? Yeah. 100%. I found so, you on trash. So, like, yep. That, it's so easy. So, and so much. So fun. So why not that? Why can't that be the starting point? I think the thought with that one is like scalable. Like how do I make it bigger? And I know like more time into it is easy. You can make a like, hundred thousand dollars. There's flippers easy. that make a million dollars. They start with yeah. one off stuff and then they realize they want more scale. And then they start wholesaling from closeout places and doing Amazon versus eBay. Yeah. I, I think you actually don't think it's a career, which is why that one's like, I think what you're asking is like the basketball coaching one more than, or whatever, more than the flipping one. Cause the flipping one you've already started. Right. And I remember like I had a teacher at school, like I'm an accounting major. That's already, so that's already a bad start to a sentence. What? Teacher at school? <laughs> yeah, I remember when I had a teacher at school. I can't oh. wait to hear the rest of this thing. Go ahead. You're going to love this. So, like, I'm literally, like, walking down the hall one day, and I was like, she's like, what do you want to do for a career or whatever? I was like, I think I want to end up coaching basketball. And she's like, well, that could be a hobby, but that's not really a job. Yeah, I'll punch her in her fucking place. face. I was like, Penny Hardaway is on this campus right now. Like, who? what are you talking about, dude? Like, this is, like, this is multi-million dollar industry. Um, by the way, by the way, if it was a $48,000 industry, you'd be exactly. happy, which, oh, by yep. the way, is how much she's getting paid. Yeah. Exactly. Like I literally wrote down last night when I was looking through like questions. Um, you post on LinkedIn the other day. It's not how much money you make, but rather how you make your money. Like bro, that's it. Like, and and even more importantly that. than that, I appreciate that's more about like don't be a scam artist. Uh, to me, the bigger one is if we have to redefine success equals happiness, not money. Yeah, exactly. Like if that teacher who I'm sure is lovely, if she thought success meant happiness, not money, she would have been proud of you when you said, I want to coach basketball. Yeah. Because coaching basketball, a, as somebody who wants to coach basketball, sounds like a lot of happiness to me. Heck yeah. I put out a post on LinkedIn and I was like, I got a bunch of like colleagues at school and stuff. And I was like, if every job paid the same amount, what would you be? I had a buddy of mine post like, I'd be the ball boy for my favorite professional soccer team. Like that is happiness. Like that's doing I, what you- I think a lot about that. I think a lot about being the ball boy for your favorite soccer team, making, 41,000 a year, 29,000 a year, and then subsidizing it with side hustles that you like. And and like, I just wish people knew that there's as many people making 52,000 a year happy as there are making 15 million. There just is. It's, it's you know, we, just ha we have to, into, once we redefine success, starting in a capitalist country like America, but other, many other places in the world, if we can figure it out as a collective, you know, 8 billion people to make that happy, not money, we could, yeah. the world would be in a 400 trillion time better place. Well, I think you're, I think you're starting that. I think like, I mean, like as a 20 year old male, like you're doing that. So, all right, so last thing. Yeah. Well, you can, you finish and I'll ask you. I think you have your career flipping in front of you. I think the basketball one is you've already learned how to do it. You DM coaches and Eric Spolstra coaches the Heat. He, you know, reached out cold to do videotape for Pat Riley and away he went. Yeah. I had this 10 second video I got all self-conscious about. I was about to delete it, decided to post it anyway. And it just, it went crazy. 
We sold out of everything except for one of our products, double our followers. It's just TikTok's nuts. Uh huh. So I've heard. Wanted, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to thank you for that. So true that you can't okay. imagine. Say that one more time for everybody in the back because it's super important. Not the it part is. of the piece going viral. The port. Uh, the point of you actually driving business results. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It goes it, as long as you. As long as you don't get inside your own head, you just keep pushing stuff out there. Don't worry about looking stupid because I came this close to deleting that clip right before I uploaded it. And, how, remember, and how much worth of stuff did you sell? Uh, in like Roughly. two days, it was like $2,000, which is a lot for us. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot for anybody. Yeah. Good for you. Congratulations. Keep it going. Thank you. I appreciate it. So that leads right into my question, which is, uh, you say to find what works best for you, whether it's you know typing, audio, video. What works best for me is video, I found out, especially quick, goofy clips where I'm acting silly while giving out information. Um, but you also say, you know, try to get on many, as many platforms as possible uh, and alter what you're doing depending on the platform. But what works for me it almost seems like it's tailor-made for TikTok and it doesn't do quite as well for Instagram and Facebook. You think I should just should I sh share I think those? I think if, you, if somebody finds a place that's just fucking made for them, I, I still believe you put 70% of your energy there okay. and you still put 30% of your energy in the other places because A, people become one-dimensional and like, right. you know, and then they and then eventually it teeters out. What's your TikTok right. handle, by the way? Because I want to make sure everybody gets to follow you. My TikTok handle, uh, Naked Ape Brand. What was that? It's Naked Ape Brand. Naked Ape, like an ape that's yeah. naked. Yes, like humans, Naked Ape. <laughs> yeah. So like, Bape, like, <laughs> like, like, Bape, my favorite like brand, streetwear brand. Uh, I love that, Naked Ape, good. <laughs> okay. Okay, well that's pretty much my first I love it. Questions. I love really. it. That, 70% on TikTok right now. How many day, times a day are you posting on TikTok? Once every I, couple I, days or what? I aim for like four or five a day. It, yeah, it depends on the that's day. That's great. Yeah, that's, what, that's great. Awesome. What we're trying and to how do. And how many posts did you post before that one went bananas? That's the thing. Well, first, our fourth post went viral. Almost a million views. Um, we got sales from that too. Not quite as many because it wasn't about the business as much. It was just a general goofy thing. Um, but to get this one, we only posted probably 50 times. Um, I have not only been on there for like two months and halfway through I teetered out. So it's really, it's incredible how quick it happened. Um, and that's the other thing I want to talk to you about too. I mean, I, everything you just said makes perfect sense about the 70% versus 30%. Um, but at the same time, it's like, it's hard to find motivation for these other platforms when you post something on TikTok and it just goes, you know what I mean? Listen, people love instant gratification. Why do you think I, right. and, and it goes and it works. Why do you think I've been yelling for a fucking year to get all right. these fuckers on there? Uh, right, right. Wait, can we not, people are saying they can't find your TikTok. Did we get the right, uh, Dustin, did we yep. get the right thing? I saw it when it came up. For some reason, it's, some people have trouble finding it. I don't, it, naked apron, yeah, that's right. I don't know hmm. why it happens, but you search for it, TikTok hides it from people. Hmm. Okay, it's, gotta figure that out. Very... Listen, brother, keep going. 70%, don't get discouraged with four views on Instagram while you're getting a million it's... on on TikTok because okay. you, you wanna diversify and you never know when a platform disappears. Vine's not here anymore and some right. of the Vine kids like King Batch uh, you know, and others were smart and went on Instagram and Snap and now TikTok. Others just were one dimensional, didn't want to leave Vine as it was declining and got hurt. You always right. have to hedge the platform that's working for you the best. Yeah, just be prepared. And then real quick, podcast, Twitter, LinkedIn for direct consumer, all natural skincare company. You think those are especially? Yes, I do. Podcasts especially could be a monster. Okay, just need to find something I can talk true, about. True, true. The, the skincare product is the commodity. No matter right. how good your fucking product is, I promise you on my life, it's the commodity. The marketing, right. the marketing plan is the variable.